Hey everybody, <laughs> fun science video for you. Today we're gonna talk about convection. And uh, I got a pretty cool demonstration for you today to try to help you understand convection. And convection is one of the things that is important not just for uh, our atmosphere. We have convection currents in our atmosphere which create winds, but convection currents also drives uh, currents ocean currents. And so we're going to look at this a little bit and we're going to do something kind of cool. So the first thing you need to do today, okay, the first thing you need to do is I want you to draw yourself a picture. So you're going to be able to actually um, see what happens and you're going to add it to your paper. So here's what you're going to do, okay. I'm going to be putting an ice cube, you see that in the left corner, that I have colored with food coloring. I'm going to show you that right now. I've got some, put some food coloring in some ice and I'm going to put a blue ice cube on this side of the container right here. On the other side of the container, I'm going to be taking this right here. This is a glass jar. It's a small little glass jar. I'm going to come over here and show you something. I'm going to take and put in this glass jar. I've been heating up some very warm water that I put some red food coloring in. And so I'm going to actually put some red water, okay, into this container and I'm gonna put it in this side, okay? And so that's why you're gonna draw that on the bottom. And you wanna label that that's a glass container with warm water and red food coloring. Again, on the other side, you're gonna draw a picture that shows an ice cube that's blue. Uh, I would use your color pencils to do this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch and we're gonna see what happens. So let's go ahead and go get the warm water. Let's go ahead and get the warm water. We'll come over here and we'll get the warm water. Uh, I don't want to burn myself, so I'm going to use this nice little hot pad that looks like a frog because you know how Mr. Callahan likes frogs. And I'm going to pour, go ahead and pour some of this, hopefully, I'm going to pour this into this glass container without making too big of a mess. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so that Mr. Callahan doesn't forget to... Um, actually don't want to forget and I don't want to forget to actually um, turn that off and have a problem later in the school. So we're going to put that again on the left side. Let's go ahead and get the uh, ice cube ready too, maybe. Hopefully we'll get the ice cube ready. Okay, I'm going to try to get one of these out of the container. Having a little trouble getting one of those to come out. They don't for some reason want to come out but we'll get one of them out here eventually. All right, I got more than one of them out. So we're gonna go ahead and set that there. All right, and again, that's a, this is this normal water with a blue food coloring in it is all that really is. And we're gonna go ahead and put that, like I said, on the one side. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the freezer. Sorry, it took me a couple seconds to do that, but I had to go put that back in the freezer because I didn't want to make a mess on my table. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come around on that other side and I'm gonna kind of start this and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see that. I'm gonna actually, I, I went ahead and I got some blue food coloring also that is cool or chilled. And so I'm gonna put this again on this side and we're gonna put an extra drop or two of blue food coloring just so we can see what's going on. And we're gonna go ahead and put this, like I said, in this is just cool water, normal temperature water from the tap. And here we go, let's watch what is occurring. All right, so as you can see on the left side, we got the blue cool food coloring is going down. And on the right side, look, the, the, the red food coloring is going up. And watch, let's see if it goes anywhere. Look where the blue goes, it's amazing, check it out. The, the red is going up and to the left. It's going to go over to that ice cube. And look at the the blue. Check it out. The blue has gone down and it's going over to the warm to warm up. So I don't know if you've seen it right now, but right now we have just completed a circle. So we got, we got the red going up and it went over to the cold to cool down. And we got the blue that's going down and it went over to the warm water to, to warm up. It's really, really cool that this is happening. So blue water, since it went down, the blue water must be more dense. 
and it is. Blue water is more dense. And the red, by the way, it went straight up. So that must mean that the red water that was warm is less dense than the water that I got from the tap. And that's pretty darn cool. Ladies and gentlemen, that is convection currents in action. What you should do is you should probably, all right, what you should probably do is draw yourself a picture of that and put some arrows in that show it. And that's kind of a neat thing. So ladies and gentlemen, Science is pretty darn cool. I hope that you understand convection a little better. Have a great day, everybody.